welcome to a green room video I'm Matt now in this video I'm going to be showing you this brand new Dell laptop this is the Dell 1545 laptop here and it's got four gigabytes of memory that's more than my desktop Dell uh, I've only got three uh, gigabytes of memory it's got a DVD plus and minus rewriter drive it's got a Dell wireless mini card so you can get your wireless internet through your wireless router. It's got a Intel integrated GMA4500 MHD video card, a 320 gigabyte hard drive, that is a, a good size, you can get all your photos and music on there. It's got a 4 cell primary battery and it has an Intel Pentium dual core processor, that's 2.1 gigahertz. It's got Windows 7 Home Premium 64-bit, so this is the first computer I've been on which has got Windows 7. I have been on it already and it is better than Vista. Whether it's better than XP, I'm not really sure. It's got a built-in 1.3 megapixel webcam and there is software on there to do special effects and you can upload your videos straight from the software to YouTube. Now you might be wondering what is that screen size? Well it's a 15.6 inch widescreen WXGA WLED uh, that's 1366 by 768 TFT display with true life so like I said before I've been on this already it does look very nice the screen quality uh, there are some sample uh, videos on there the HD ones uh, the screen isn't HD uh, because that resolution isn't, you know, HD, but it still looks very good, and you know, Windows 7 and everything on there looks very clear, and you will, you'll be able to see this in a few minutes when I boot up the machine and show you. And finally, it comes with some software. It comes with Microsoft Works 9.0 and McAfee Security Center 15 months protection, so you can have internet security for 15 months for free and then you've got to you know pay for the, the rest but I think that is very good you know the free uh, security at the start and then you'll probably pay for it it is very good I've got it on my own computer McAfee and it's I, I never have to do anything it always does it for myself for me on my on itself sorry um, and so you never have to do scans or anything like that it does it all itself and that's what you want I used to have uh, Norton uh, that was very you know memory uh, greedy it uses a lot of memory but McAfee is very good right so here we are we'll, we'll boot it up in a minute hello there you can see me in the screen so let's, I'll just turn the lights out and then you can see better there you go so I just boot this up Windows 7 So there we go. By the way, this isn't my computer. I'm just borrowing it off somebody so that I can show you the laptop now in this video. So let's see how quickly it is. There you go. And see when that stops doing the um, loading up. And the uh, the widgets, the gadgets, the side just need to load up. As you can see, this is Windows 7, 
and the whole menu has changed. Not an awful lot, but you know it's been updated. It's made, you know, it's been made to look different, so they, that they can, you know, call it Windows 7. But the main differences from Windows Vista is that it works a bit better than what Windows Vista does. So it's a bit more like XP, really, um, although that's older than Vista. So I'll just try and get the camera so you can see the whole screen. Right, so if we just go to start, and then we'll try going on a program. We'll go on Microsoft Word, and we can see if that loads up better there. So, yeah, that, that was quick, that loading up. Uh, go off it quick. And uh, the internet, see how quickly that is. Uh, this is Windows Internet Explorer, so it's not the best uh, browser to use. And you're better with Google Chrome or Safari. I use Safari on my Dell. I don't use Internet Explorer. Uh, Windows Media Center. Let's try that out. I haven't got that on my Vista. Uh, my Vista package doesn't include it. But uh, I wouldn't really use it anyway, so. Windows Media Center is where you can play your music, your photos. If you've got a built in digital tuner or a plug in one, you can use that. And you watch live TV through it. And you can record it on there. So this is, I've been on a, another Vista machine which has got this, but this is different on Windows 7. So you can view Windows Media Center on your TV with an Xbox 360. Enjoy your movies. I think you get the idea. Let's go off this. Uh, there's this kind of toolbar at the top. I'm not sure if that's just because it's a Dell or something. I don't know, unless that's totally new. Uh, the games, I've looked at the games and there's quite a lot of games more than on Vista, the Vista ones are terrible so here are the games, I'll just zoom in on there for you what I would wish is they brought back uh, Pinball from Windows XP because that was a good game and that was a game you'd go on all the time if you got bored and they don't have it, they're just all you know, like card games so bring back pinball that Microsoft bring it back as an update or on the next one or something just bring it back uh, I'll go on to documents and videos uh, sample videos here so I'll show you the um, sample video the one I was talking about before the, the HD one but of course you won't see it in proper HD because it's not a HD screen but it will look better than usual standard definition videos so this is wildlife uh, I've just got to set up Windows Media Player I thought I'd already done that but I didn't get that right <laughs> to make it bigger So this is meant to be high definition video. It does look from where I'm watching it. It won't look as good for you, I don't think, but it looks, you know, that good quality. That screen looks good. The colours are good. This is a good you know, they have uh, sample videos on quite a few of their operating systems and this was a good one. Wasn't very long, but pictures. Just go into the slideshow mode and then go through the pictures. A 
That's a nice one. And we're back to the start. So escape and go out of this. What else is different about Windows 7? Well, there's not really much different. It's just they've improved it uh, from Vista. Uh, there's a few other things which are better. Easy wireless setup. But that is, that is a thing which you'd only do once or maybe twice if you've got a new network or something or when you set up your computer. So that's not really a long term, well, a feature you'd use all the time really. You know, you have all the standard stuff which you get, paint, this has been redesigned. Uh, all the things are at the top, I'm sure you can change it. Uh, it's been changed to be more like the new Microsoft Office 2007. There is a new one coming out soon, uh, Windows Office 2010, Microsoft Office, sorry. Um, you know, you it's it's pretty much the same. Uh, they've changed it obviously a bit. Um, it's mainly you know a bit faster, and it doesn't use as much memory up when you're using applications. So I'll just um, type something something in on on here or somewhere. And this has also got the new Windows Internet Explorer 8. Vista has 7 on it, but you can get 8 on Vista. So I'll go on Google and type in Green Man Videos. See, look, look at that, it comes up there. That's pretty good, that. Enter that, quickly search that, go into my YouTube channel. This also depends on my uh, broadband internet connection as well, but that seems good. And also, you've got to remember this is a new computer, and eventually it will get filled up with programs and files, music, and you know other things, and it'll get clogged up a bit. But hopefully it won't do as much as you know other ones because it's Windows 7 and hopefully it should be improving and better. So I think that's kind of it. I think I think I really I should shut down. So I'm gonna do that. Right, so we've looked at the software on it and looked at what's inside it you know the processors the RAM the space that kind of thing what's actually outside of it and well what ports they have on it and things like that so you've just got the standard you know laptop keyboard a nice keyboard there on your on button there aren't any other buttons for you know anything else just on on there there's sometimes you know other ones sleep buttons email ones you know uh, things like that you got your track touchpad thing your buttons at the front you've got a a status light for whether it's on or off and there's also just there a microphone I think that's a microphone there your headphone socket your microphone socket and that is just a you know a fill-in SD card and MMC card I think that is MS Pro and then you go around here, Ethernet ports, a VGA monitor, two USB ports, your power port, and I think that's for a lock, if you've got a lock for it. Around here you've got the uh, DVD plus and minus three writer drive, so that plays CDs, DVDs, and you know, writes DVDs, writes all your movies to a DVD. You got no USB port there, and that is the space for the battery. But I've taken that out and I was running it off the mains because it is a good idea, actually. I'll mention it now that if you get a new laptop, unless you've got maybe a MacBook Pro or one or a laptop that doesn't allow you to take the battery out, I would I would recommend you do and then run it off the mains. Because what happens with the batteries is once you've got it in and you've got it plugged into the mains as well, is it overcharges batteries, so it just ruins them and eventually you'll get not much battery charge on them and 
they won't last very long. The charge won't last long. So if you're, you know, in, in your room or your office or whatever, and you're using your laptop, use it on the mains and have the battery there. If you want to leave the mains in, then put the battery in and then charge it right down and then put the mains in. I think you might be a little bit confused, but there you go. So there you go. This is the look at the Dell Inspiron 1545 laptop with Windows 7 Home Premium. And it is a, a good looking laptop. And you know, go to Dell's website, dell.com, and look at all the good deals. I'm sure you can get some really good prices on this and get even some better specs. Because uh, you can also always, you know, configure your laptops at Dell's website and get really good uh, laptops for really good prices as well. So there you go. Thanks for watching this kind of look at this laptop and a look at Windows 7. I nearly said Vista then. So yeah, thanks for watching this. Windows 7, would I get it? I'm not really that bothered about it. It's not changed much. Um, I can't really be bothered with the fuss of doing it. So, thanks for watching this video. See ya.